years ago, uh, when I was a, a student uh, at Minnesota, that's the home of the Golden Gophers, I learned a lesson about programming in academia. At the start of a course in robust statistics, the professor said, I don't care what language you use for assignments, as long as you do your own work. I had a facility with Fortran, this is a few years ago, uh, but was teaching myself Pascal, trying to adopt a, a structured programming approach. Taking the professor at his word, I programmed the first assignment in Pascal while my classmates used Fortran. The first assignment comes due, I walk my paper, a program listing, to the front of the class and hand it, hand it to the professor. He looks at it quizzically and asks, what's this? I explain, it's Pascal. You told us we could program in any language we like, as long as we do our own work. To which the professor says, Pascal, I don't read Pascal. I only read Fortran. Lesson learned. Academics are not especially open to new programming languages. Data science students today at most universities would have a similar experience if they handed in assignments in Go or Rust or any number of other contemporary languages rather than Python. With machine learning applications and AI, Python rules the day. But watch out. Data oceans are choppy. Sharks are approaching. Recall the words of Chief Brody to Quint in the movie Jaws. You're going to need a bigger boat. I would suggest that that bigger, faster boat be built with Go. Now, much of what, what I say in the next minute or so uh, is not new to Gophers. Remember that excellent presentation by Carmen Ando in 2017, the why of Go. Go is machine efficient. It beats languages that are interpreted as well as languages that depend on virtual machines. Go offers a rich set of tools for concurrent processing. It is well suited to today's multi-core computers. Go is programmer efficient. Python may be touted as easy to learn, but I would argue that Go is easier than Python. Go is simplicity by design, a language with only 25 keywords. It's easy to read, easy to use, and easy to maintain over time. Think of software development as a game of Jenga. We want to address the blocks at the bottom of the stack while ensuring that the entire stack does not collapse. Go lets us do this. And I'm happy that the leaders in the Go community are reluctant to add new features. Donald Knuth had the right idea when he got to version 3.17 of tech, he declared that there would be no new versions, no new features, only bug fixes. And with each bug fix, he would borrow another digit from Pi. Changing slowly and carefully promotes programmer efficiency. Keep it simple, keep it running. And what about that software stack, the infrastructure? When Python, even bolstered by C or C++, is not up to the task, data scientists turn to other languages and systems. Here is a popular so-called solution to Python's performance problems. Data scientists turn to Spark, which is built on Scala, which depends on the Java virtual machine, and to provide easy access, these well-meaning data scientists add PySpark to the mix. Is this the best way to address Python's performance problems? No. Consider a simpler stack. It's Go. Just Go. 
On the first day of this conference, Daniel Whitenack demonstrated various ways of implementing data science solutions with Go. We can do this today. Companies value safety, simplicity, and the performance of Go. They recognize its strengths. If Go is good enough for Google, Netflix, Uber, Dropbox, PayPal, American Express, Capital One, Salesforce, Zillow, and many others, then Go is good enough for the rest of us. If Go can provide an effective platform for Docker, Kubernetes, Prometheus, Pachyderm, Grafana, CrowdStrike, DGrep, CockroachDB, Aerospike, and a diverse array of distributed solutions and cloud-native microservices, then Go can be an effective platform for building data science applications. Using Go for data science doesn't mean we have to forget good things the R and Python languages provide. We can be multilingual. At Northwestern, we're doing just that. We're using Go along with R and Python. Here's how the three languages for data science rank today, according to IEEE. Python, R, and Go are in the top eight Go is the newest of these languages, trending up and with strong job opportunities. Take note, gophers. Go plus data science plus data engineering is a winning con con combination. These are languages, courses that we're using, Go, where we're using Go as the primary language at Northwestern. And today, if you go to a Northwestern professor, you may hear these words. I don't care if you use Go, Python, or R, as long as you do your own work. Organizations need data science, and data science needs Go. We've been doing distance education for more than a decade. Most of our faculty consult with industry or work in industry. They're practicing data scientists. We offer five specializations, analytics management, analytics and modeling, data engineering, artificial intelligence, and technology entrepreneurship. Most students hold full-time jobs in industry and, or, and study part-time. If you're interested in data science or data engineering, love to learn new things and want to work with Go, Northwestern is the place to be.